Each day in the United States, 10,000 baby boomers, like Bob, celebrate their 65th birthday. And on that day, they get a special present from their Uncle Sam, Medicare eligibility. They'll join the roughly 49 million older Americans on Medicare and watch as their healthcare worries are whisked away. Or will they? Fidelity Investments estimates that the average couple retiring today at age 65 will spend a whopping $280,000 to cover healthcare and medical costs for the rest of their lives. So how is this possible? Let's go back to that 65th birthday. Bob just retired and now he's ready to sign up for Medicare. He'll begin by choosing his coverage from Medicare's four parts. So if enrolling was multiple choice, he'd check all that apply. Check A to get hospital coverage, B to get regular medical coverage, D for prescription drug coverage, and Part C would actually be down here as all of the above. This part is known as Medicare Advantage. It typically includes everything here, but often adds a little extra. Now, Bob is in pretty good health, so Bob figures he'll enroll in Part A and Part B. Part A, as is usually the case, will have no premium but it will come with a $1,340 deductible per benefit period, along with some limits on coverage. Part B, on the other hand, will have a monthly premium of $134, unless your income is over $85,000, in which case it will be higher. Part B will also have a deductible of $183 and then charge you 20% from there. Like all new enrollees, Bob's window to sign up is three months before and after the month of his 65th birthday. Late enrollment comes with a penalty, so Bob is sure to sign up in time and begins his epic retirement. He'll travel the world, learn to sail, and watch every sunset from a hammock. But a few months in, Bob goes for a checkup at the dentist and finds out that Medicare doesn't cover dental. And it's the same deal for Bob's eyes and ears. And if Bob needs care when traveling abroad, it's most likely coming out of his pocket. And as Bob gets older, those out-of-pocket costs can skyrocket. Need a tooth implant? That'll be $4,000. Hearing aid? 2500 Then down the road comes a drug prescription. Bob never enrolled in Part D, so he has to either cover that cost completely or add Part D to his plan, which will now cost more since he's enrolling late. So now Bob's wondering, should I have just checked all of the above and gotten Medicare Advantage right off the bat? Let's run through a few scenarios. Say Bob was the same healthy 65-year-old, but he enrolled in Part D when he initially signed up. The plan he chooses has a $34 monthly premium, bringing Bob's total monthly premiums to $168. But now, Bob will only be forking over five or 10 bucks for most prescriptions. But he still has a problem. He plans to travel. Medicare doesn't seem to have an option for overseas care. But this gap in coverage can be helped with the literally named Medigap. Medigap is supplemental insurance that covers some of the gaps in Medicare. Bob finds a Medigap policy that requires him to pay only 20% of emergency care abroad. The plan costs about 200 bucks, bringing his total monthly premiums to $368. But even with all that, Bob's still on the hook for vision and dental. That's where Part C comes in. Medicare Advantage usually incorporates all these parts, and you can also get vision and dental. But you cannot add on Medigap if you go this route. So Bob has a choice to make. He can combine parts A, B, and D with a Medicap policy for $368 a month, or go for a Medicare Advantage plan and pay near a total of $170 per month. That may seem like a no-brainer, but that Advantage plan isn't quite the sweet deal it seems. Here, Bob won't be covered in Switzerland when he sprains his ankle hiking in the Alps. And that dental coverage is only good for one cleaning a year. It's a lot to think about, but luckily for Bob, he's healthy enough to cherry pick his options. Let's say instead that Bob had a pre-existing condition. This won't hurt his eligibility for Medicare, but he is worried about covering the costs of treatment. If his best bet is to add a Medigap policy, Bob needs to jump on it right away. When you first enroll in Medicare, you have six months to add Medigap. After six months, you'll have to go through medical underwriting, meaning you could be charged more or denied coverage. When it comes to Medicare, planning is everything. But what if the really unpredictable happens? Say a few years into his retirement, Bob is diagnosed with cancer. Medicare will cover certain treatments like radiation or chemotherapy. If Bob needs to continue radiation treatment on an outpatient basis, coverage will come through Part B, meaning he'll pay 20% after that $183 deductible. So if the full treatment runs $20,000, Bob's on the hook for about $4,000. That amount could vary with the advantage policy may actually cover it. The last option Bob could turn to is government assistance. 
There are programs available that reduce Medicare-related costs. To qualify, though, your income must be below each program's limits. But if you do qualify, take advantage of it. Getting on Medicare doesn't necessarily put you on easy street, but it is still one of the best health insurers out there if you plan it right. As always, the earlier you do your homework, the quicker you can go out and play.